Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Atherosclerosis and we are looking at its risk factors. So under the risk factors of atherosclerosis, it is a non-modifiable, modifiable. So let's look at the non-modifiable. So non-modifiable includes the constitutional. So under the constitutional, there is the genetic abnormalities. So there is genetic abnormalities. Then comes the presence of the family history. So there's genetic abnormalities, there's family history. Then comes the increase in the age. There's increase in the age as well as the presence of the male gender. So all this comes under the non-modifiable or the constitutional. So it's the age, family history, male gender as well as the genetic abnormalities. Next we move on to the modifiable factors. So modifiable factors, it includes the hyperlipidemia. So there's hyper to hyper, that is hyperlipidemia, as well as the hypertension. So there's hyperlipidemia as well as the hypertension. Next is the involvement of the cigarette. So there is a cigarette smoking, which is seen, and as well as the presence of the diabetes. Now let's move on to the additional risk factors. So here in terms of the additional risk factors, we are writing it as RF. So it includes the presence of the inflammation. Then there is also the hyper, hyper homocysteinemia. So there's hyper homocysteinemia. Next is there is the presence of the metabolic syndrome. So there's presence of metabolic syndrome. There is presence of lipoprotein. So there is presence of metabolic syndrome. There's lipoprotein. And there is also the elevation of the plasminogen activator inhibitor. So elevation of the plasminogen activator inhibitor. So plasminogen activator inhibitor 1. And lastly, also the type A personality. So atherosclerosis is prominent in the type A personality. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.